Hello, everybody. So I mentioned at lunchtime today that I was going to go live um, in this group um, a bit later today. And that was just to talk about, I'm just sorry, I'm just loading up my phone at the same time, just talk about some other strategies and things that we can use. Um, so I'm going to just need to record this as well, and then I will get on with um, the bits I need to do. Okay, perfect. So I'm coming on today just to talk to you about some other um, strategies and some other things that you can put in place um, to help you with mood management and anxiety and depression. Any, any level of mood management that these things can be put in place. So um, I did a course a couple of days ago and it really helped. I've got a couple of resources that I'm hoping to be able to share with you on here as well. Um, so the first thing I want to show you is um, there is a little app. I'm just going to share my screen and I will find the right page and then I'll share my screen with you. Okay, right, so I'm just gonna share my screen with you. This, um, I'm gonna put this link onto the page and it is a list of NHS apps that are helpful for you now the first two are paid ones so you don't need to do those ones if obviously unless you want to um it's completely up to you so there is lots and lots of different apps on here um there's um blue ice so it's an app to help an app to help young people manage their emotions um calm harm reduces the urges for self-harm and managing emotions in a more positive way so that one's really good for any of you who have experienced any form of self-harm or anybody that feels that way um, catch it. Now I actually quite like to catch it. I um, I downloaded these ones um, yesterday to have a little look. Catch it helps you learn to manage negative thoughts. So it's a really it's a little bit like a diary, and you can um, write down the negative thoughts um, and things on there. Um, Chill Panda is a nice breathing techniques to help you relax more and worry less and feel better. There were some nice um, there were some nice chill ones on there. Cove is being tested by the NHS as well. So that is create music to reflect emotions like joy, sadness and anger and help express how you feel. Um, I actually really liked that one. I haven't got too far into the app because I've only just downloaded them. Um, but it's a nice one, especially if you're a music type person. It's a really good app to use. Um, distract is a quick and discreet access to information and advice about self-harm and suicidal thoughts. So again, it's a really good app that's going to get you help if you are in that level of um, emotions. Um, EQEO, I think that's right, is emotional fitness game. Now, this was a bit of a strange one yesterday. Um, I started this last night. If you are into a bit of games and story playing and things like that, this is a great app for you. If you don't like that type of thing, then um, don't do so. Um, but it's quite a nice one. It's designed to increase your emotional fitness. So it's actually... Um, takes you through stories and helps you make the right decisions on your mental on your emotional mental health of what the right answers should be and how to steer you into um, positive mental thinking. Um, so it was all right. Um, like I say I started it last night. Um, I will give it a go and see how I feel about it. Um, the feeling good positive mindset. These are audio tracks. So if you are a music person, again, this is a great one. I love listening to music when I'm struggling. Um, there is quite a few on here. So you've got um, safe, secure, so you've got forums there for teenagers. You've got ones to manage fear, anxiety, stress and tackle unhelpful thinking. Um, there's an eight week course to help you manage stress at your own pace. There's a sleep, some sleep ones. Um, there's student ones. Um, so yeah, so there's quite a few. So I'm gonna place this link onto the page and you can um, help yourself to any of those. Okay, and you can download um, any of those. Most of them, like I say, are free. Um, this one, the Think Ninja is free during the coronavirus um, period, and that's for 10 to 18 year olds. So again, um, some of you might be experienced mood management yourself. Some of you might also be experienced mood management with your young ch like younger children. Um, different. So that is the first thing. Um, the second thing I want to talk to you about is I'm gonna um, place a template on here, but you can do this with the template that I'm gonna hopefully, I'm saying fingers crossed, I can attach it. Attach it. If not, then you can just type into, um, into Google, sort of like gingerbread man or um, Lego figure, or mine, I think I typed superhero um, template 
um, on there. I'm just looking to see if I wrote down the exact words that I typed in. Um, let me have a quick look for you. I made lots of notes on here. So yeah, mini figo Lego outline would be an example. So I think I typed in superhero outline um, and I have a superhero figure who this is gonna be um, more for my child to do um, and a good way for him to, and I'm going to do one with each of his emotions so that he can work out his um, physiological feelings to match his emotions. And it's really good to do, like I say, with our children, but. For this purpose, I want you guys to, you can either do it in a picture format or do it um, just it written down, so whatever suits you. Um, but I want you to think about what, with your anxiety, what areas of your body it's mostly affecting. Now, if you suffer with anxiety, anger, um, and different stress, and you have different symptoms for different things, then just literally, change um change some colors so do it color coded okay so what i'm going to do with my son is we're going to do one for anger one for emotions and things and we can overlap them so that he can actually see that some of the same things when he feels excited are the same feelings as feeling stressed um, and the reason we're doing this is because then you can work out those areas on here that um, you need help with. So for example, I've written, um, when I get anxious, I get stomach ache, okay? Now stomach ache and feeling sick, um, loose bowels or constipation, all of these things are related with anxiety. Um, so yes, we want to tackle the anxiety, but we also want to tackle the actual physiological because these are actual things that are happening they're not in, they're not in your head they're happening you've got stomach ache you've got diarrhea you feel sick you might even vomit and um, these things are happening so what we want you to do is work out those areas and then your personal wellness advocates so whoever invited you to this group can then help you find the right oils to help you with those physiological um, things so it's not only dealing with our anxiety and emotions, we also want to tackle the physiological, the physiological, I forget what words I'd say. So for me, for stomach ache, I use Engest or Peppermint. Okay, so there are two things that I use um, for my stomach ache. Um, tight chest, so how many of you get tight chested, um, feeling like you can't breathe, um, start bordering on hyperventilating, any of these things. So yes, we need to learn how to calm our breathing down, we need to learn how to not get into that situation in the first place, but also it is physiological. We actually can have chest pain from this. We can have pain in our lungs because of it. We can get a cough, um, these things. So in that case, I use air on my chest or eucalyptus. Um, again, you can use peppermint. So I would be placing, and that is gonna ease that physiological feeling for you, as well as looking to tackle um, the emotional side. Um, headaches. How many of you get headaches when you um, when you feel anxious? I know, yeah, 100%. So with a headache, um, again, peppermint or deep blue. Um, there's lots of oils out there. Lavender is a good one for headaches. Lavender, lavender um, peppermint and frankincense, the three together are brilliant for headaches. Okay, so there's, there's just some little areas there for you. Um, another thing is lack of sleep for me. So when I'm highly anxious, my sleeping pattern goes off. So that's when I then put more oils in for my sleep. Okay, so do you get how we're, we're yin in and we're yang in together to, to pull it all back into place? Um, a few other things that we might get that we can do something about. So muscle aches. So when I'm anxious, I my muscles actually ache. Now that can be because I'm probably clenching more than I realise or sitting uncomfortably or not getting out of bed as much as I should be. Um, lots and lots of reasons for muscle ache, lactic acid buildup, um, lots of things. So one of the things that I do for muscle aches is deep blue. Um, deep blue is one of my favorite oils. It's in the top 10. It's a really good one for muscle aches. Um, so there's a few things in here that um, specifically oils aren't going to do stuff straight away for like dry mouth, sweating, fast heartbeat, pins and needles. Now we have got, there is an oil for everything. There is an oil that will help you, but they are the more specific things that actually they will, they will disappear and they'll go down more once we get the anxiety in check. So we can use the oils on the really physiological things that we can do something about and use the oils at the same time for our anxiety. And that is gonna get us more into a homeostasis um, point to be able to avoid jumping into these really hyper anxious states. Okay, so I'm gonna place one of those on there. 
feel free you don't have to do it you don't have to share it with us you can just do it for you fingers crossed okay um so then the next thing i have that i'm hoping to put on there um is these are some of the children's bits on here as well is this <clears throat> okay so this looks a bit cr crazy to look at but this is um the our scale for um it's our emotion scale so we're going up or down okay so this one is written for you'll see it's written for children okay and it's more written these, this one's written for our autistic children um, and different levels so sort of level one is a foundational plan where positive and valuing relationships are built and where you can teach skills needed to function successfully in a challenging situations so level one is homeostasis okay so that's what you need to know okay so i have one of these okay so level one you're going to write in here what suits you homeostasis this is the level we want to be at at all times with our anxiety or stress or whatever it is that your mood management um, you're on this course for that is your level one level two is seeping out of that comfort zone and we're moving into a bit of bit of anxiety it might be social anxiety it might be the start of health anxiety it might be I've got to go to work and I haven't been at work all week it might be I've got a homeschool and I haven't homeschooled for a, a little while or I don't know how to do that or something it's just edging us out of our little comfort zone okay so level two um, is the signs of early stress um, we need to recognize these and the best time to reinforce the pay, um, person's attention away from this stress. So at level two, this is the point where you are going onto an app, you are getting an oil, you are doing deep breathing, you are doing yoga, you're doing meditation, you're doing anything that suits you to bring you back down to level one. And by doing this course, we're giving you the tools to use of having an additional thing so instead of just deep breathing we're giving you an oil that will help your, you physiologically while you are deep breathing okay so at that point it might be balance it might be adaptive or lavender or wild rock, whichever they're, they're the four oils you've got this week and um, but it could be anything else as well okay so obviously when you have your own oils you can pick and choose what suits you that's level two level two is let's get back down to level one Level three is it's time to leave the anxiety, anxiety producing event if possible. OK, so at level three, if you have not been able to get back down to level one from level two and you've got up to level three, this is the point we, we get out. OK, this is your last point of no return. This is I have um, social anxiety and you've gone to the shop and it's all got too much. Go home. OK, this is the point where we we change that behavior. We come away from that negative thinking and we do something about it. That's at three. OK, so we're going to keep using our oils at three. At four, unfortunately, this is the this is we've gone past. And this is at the stage where um, the person isn't making the right choices or calming isn't correct. OK, so we need a redirection and we need it fast. So, again, at four, you're going to we're heading into hyper state you you need to find a way that suits you to come back down okay so four is a high a high level that you need to find a strategy for um you can use any of the strategies that we've given you um ideally away from whatever the stressor is and that will bring you back down level five is is peak okay so level five has we have now exploded and um, there's nothing stopping this full-blown panic attack and we um, we're in it we're there okay we're, we've hit peak and there's nothing stopping us so you at five you've got to ride it out find a way down and we want to come back down okay um, now you don't have to come back down your levels you could go from five to three if you know how but generally we want to come back down so when you get back down to three we're then going to do those producing activities that get us back down to two and when we're back at two, we get down to those activities that get back to one. OK, now this little curve in here is a curve which for children, it's the adult curve. And it's really important that if it's your child that's doing this scale, that you are calm and collected. If you're an adult, then that is the person that is supporting you. That's where their curve needs to be. If they are peaking like this with you. They are not helping you with your anxiety and you need to find ways to change that. You need your person who's looking after you to be this curve 
to talk you down and they stay quiet and they stay calm and they don't escalate anything for you. So hopefully that helps give you a little bit of notice about, like I say, and you can write down the oils that when you're using them, what oils that you're working, what, what, work, what practices you want to try. Now, obviously we're quite at the beginning of the mood management. So you might not know everything that you need to know just yet. So that's fine. Um, I'm hopefully I'll place this into the, um, group as well and you can print it out and you can use that to work out your own levels and then hopefully color code it I'm, I'm a color person I like it's pretty and you can put the oils that are helping you as you're going and keep it as time goes on because like I say as you find more oils that work you'll be able to add those on as well um just looking to see if uh, there's anything else that's suited for adults on here um I think they're the main ones. Um, there is also, I can post this one as well, which is a self-management scale. And on the self-management scale, you've got your own rating, how you want to rate it. What make me feel make me feel this way? How does my body or brain look or feel? And what can I do now? And they're ones that you can put in to get your own strategy. Um, so hopefully that helps some of you. Um, some of you might think, um, yeah, I don't need that. And that's perfectly fine. But some of you that might hopefully um, assist on different levels for you to be able to help you with your mood. So um, I hope you're all doing okay. And any questions, like I say, reach out to that wellness advocate that um, sent you across to this group and we will support you every way we can. So keep up the good work and we will be seeing you again later. So take care.